Hi, this is Jeff Rao from Leica Geosystems in Houston, and we're going to do a quick video on the basic settings on a CS20. Um, so let's assume we just did like the other video, we deleted the uh, all objects, and we formatted the internal memory system RAM, and maybe we just finished loading the firmware. And we're going to go over uh, how to customize the ASCII import and export settings, uh, set a control job or design job, We'll go over the TS and GS modes, and then we'll hook up a GS sensor with Bluetooth and go through those settings. I have a new CS20 here. I'm just going to go over some basic settings. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is on this job, um, if I click on the job, go up to the default job, click on it, and it's import data and ASCII. And uh, if I hit function settings, it defaults on the example to east and northern height. So I can just come down here and say my eastern is going to be position number three, northern's on two, height's on four, and my code's on five. So let's scroll through and then the example updates and then hit OK. And hit OK. What we're going to do now is set up the export. So we'll hit the job, export data, ASCII. And the same thing, the example defaults to east and northern, so we hit function settings, and then we'll change that to point number northern, east and height, code. I do code and code information, okay? And we'll hit okay. So if you want northern, east, and that's how you configure it. And we'll hit okay. What we're gonna do now, if I hit function home, it says choose design job, this is your if you want to prompt for your stakeout job, I can click on this button here, then I hit function settings, and this is really key to check this box. So what that'll do is, if you select that box, hit OK, whenever you go to stakeout, it'll prompt you for what control job you want to use. So I scroll down here and go to stake points, it'll then pick, and you can select what job you want to use. So we escape back out of here, if I hit function instrument, Right now it's brand new, it says use both GS and TS. When you're in the field, you want to use one or the other. The GS and TS is used mainly when you're doing smart pull. That can cause some problems. If I was doing robotic and I had this turned on, and I was trying to find my robotic, and the GPS wasn't turned on, the resources will look for the GPS unit, and that could cause some radio issues. When we're setting up, we might leave it on both GS and TS. But in the field, We'll come in here and say use GS only. And now the icons have changed, so we're in the G GPS mode. And if I hit settings, connections, connection wizard, this is where we'll go down, we're going to hook up to a GS18, hit next, hit Bluetooth, YLAN would be for using GS18i, this, this is an AT&T, so you can just use Bluetooth, and then hit next. And what we'll do is we'll look for the sensor, and then it will go through, pick it up, and then pair up. Okay, there's a serial number of the sensor. We we'll hit next. We have a message here. Um, it really should say the, the default. We're updating the, the default setting. We'll hit OK. Now it's connected. And now we're tracking satellites. So I'll hit finish. And I got a big circle up here. If I click on here, we've got eight satellites. So I'll quickly come down here to settings, GS sensor, satellite tracking. And we can check whatever codes were activated. So we have GPS going as Galileo. I'll page over. I'm going to do a 14 degree cutoff angle and set to automatic automatic and hit OK. All right, and now it'll start tracking satellites. So if I click up here, it's G, R, E, and C. So G is GPS, R is Russian, E is European, and C is Chinese. And the numbers are how many satellites it's tracking. So that's a quick overview of the settings. The next video will go through the applications and how to customize these. But I just want to show you how to interface uh, to pick up the GPS unit. If I was going to interface to a robot, I'd hit function instrument. If I was using both, just in the setup mode, I could quickly come up to here with battery, change it to TS mode, and hit settings, connections, TS connection wizard. In this case, you have TS-16. I don't have an instrument right now, but there's a Bluetooth and long range. 
The long range is the, the radio, that'll give you a thousand feet. Bluetooth is the internal Bluetooth, so don't use that. That'd be a nice backup if something went wrong with the radio handle. Then we hit next. Then I hit next to search for the robotic. Right now we don't have a robotic, but that would be how we interface and connect a robotic. Okay? So that's a quick overview on some basic settings. The ASCII, how to set your control job. Another way to do that is on your, if I click on my jobs and go to properties, hit OK. Linked design jobs. You can link mobile jobs on this screen here. We don't have any jobs in there, but if you wanted to have more than uh, one job as your control job, that's the way to do it, okay? So this is a quick overview, just some basic settings, and then our next videos will go over how to customize the applications. Oh, this is... What we'll take a look at right now also on job menus is, um, if I have a job here, job number three, if I just create that job, um, sometimes guys can get confused. If I go to the measure screen, and right now I've got a grayed out bunch of points, and I just created job number three. So what are these points doing in here? And that's really related, even the measure and the stakeout screen. So if we hit function, we'll get back out of the main screen and function home. It's actually looking at this job number two. So job number two has those points in there and you'll see them even in your measure screen before we collect any data. This could be really handy. Let's say job number two, we only have a few points here, but let's say job number two, you'd RTK a bunch of points, and then you create a new job number three, and you're going to set up on a couple of points. You want to see what points you picked up with RTK to fill in the gaps because there's trees and obstructions. You couldn't get those RTK. That'd be a great way to do it. Just make that job number two your design job, then you can see it grayed out in the background and work, and new points will be stored over that to fill in the gaps. So that's just a great little trick that can increase your productivity in the field. So hopefully that helps you out as well.